Hello boat fans, this is Tim from Boatshed Brighton Yacht Brokers on board this Moody 29 for a look around her cockpit and in her interior. So this video should give you a good idea of her layout, where things are and if she might suit you. So at the moment, as you may guess, I'm sitting in the starboard aft section of the cockpit and looking port aft. We can see we've got a really nice big spray hood stroke cockpit tent here. So we're nice and enclosed and if you can hear the really, really whistling wind it's absolutely blowing a storm out there but in here it's actually quite nice and sedate although obviously you can hear the wind i hope you can hear me okay but let's look around this boat so we have got winches on the coach roof uh, inside the cockpit here um, we've got a nice cockpit table here that swings around and adjusts to suit which is very good you may notice if we go around that we've got um lumar 30 self-tailing winches which is something very nice to have and if i just uh, look down slightly we can see the opening to what is a massive great big co cockpit locker here and inside there you've got the calorifier you've got the fuel tank and stowage for lots and lots and lots of equipment and if i just move aft here underneath the cushions there we've got the gas locker with room for two gas bottles which is always nice so you can carry a spare with you then i'll hop over to the port side and um, just nestling down there behind the back, we've got the uh, the short supply incomer. And beneath these two seats here is actually the starboard aft quarter berth, so no lockers there. But uh, there is lots and lots of storage on this boat. And again, I'll just uh, hold back the cockpit tent now because the door's open. We've got a winch there, which I would imagine is for the uh, spinnaker. And we've got another Lumar 30 self-tailor here too. All really rather good. Now, if I look down very, very briefly, You'll see the hinges to a locker that I'm standing on. Now beneath this deck is a massive great big locker. You could have a dinghy in there, you could have a life raft. Uh, there's also access to the after end of the engine room uh, or the engine itself, shaft and gearing and the stern gland too. So very, very well thought out moody. Now down here, we've got the usual kind of, um, we've got the engine oil gauge there. We've got a, uh, a, a speed indicator here and we've got the engine controls here so all nicely and at hand and protected from the weather all really rather good so let's uh, let's go downstairs and have a look below shall we before i go down there let's just have a look from up here as you can see moody have done really really well with the space on this boat you've got uh, a lovely sofa port a lovely sofa starboard and lots and lots of room uh, catered for or created by the fact that the saloon table folds up and uh, we'll show a little bit more about that later on but let's go down into the boat really nice easy companion way no problems there at all and if i look aft i'll just show you the companion way i came down so a couple of steps there and then onto the engine casing and it's very easy to get to the engine you just take those steps away take the engine box here away and you've got good access to the front end and the forward two sides port and starboard of the engine as well so rather good very handy at sea now let's have a look at the chart area oh no actually let's first look at the starboard aft quarter berth now you may not be able to see it very well because there are some belongings there but really really nice big berth not quite a double though some say it is i say it's about one and a half because it's definitely bigger than a single so lots of room there and a really good place to kip when you're at sea we've got the electrical isolator underneath though you can't see it behind the heater and we've also got batteries under there and more stowage so turning to starboard We've got the chart table, very nicely positioned. You row close enough to the companion way to call up to the skipper or the helm. You've got a, a nice size chart table there for the uh, for the cruising size charts. Uh, the lid lifts up, so you've got plenty of storage beneath there as well. And on this boat, you've got a stereo to the right there. We've got a couple of electrical panels there. We've got the Garmin unit, which, uh, which fixes it up onto the upper deck somewhere. And we've also got this uh, GPS to the left here. So plenty of room to do what you need to do and, uh, and do your chart work. And uh, we like. So just looking up very quickly, we've got stowage there for your bits and pieces. We've got, uh, we've got the radio up there as well. So very, very handy for up and down, up, up top and down below. And looking forward along the starboard side, uh, this, this is kind of what does it for me for these boats. The, the, the accommodation is lovely. Windows looking good, the, the headlines looking good. Um, none of the usual um, headlining droop that quite often is associated with boats of this type of age. All looking really rather good. And then going down from the windows, we've got nice stowages there with great big fiddles on so you can stick loads of things in there at sea and it, won't, it shouldn't come out. To forward there, we've got the closing uh, locker there as well, lots of room in there. We've got a shelf with a plant on it. 
so you can put all your bits and pieces there and they won't roll around everywhere. And we've got this great big uh, bunk here, which is big enough for a decent sized person to sleep on, and I speak from experience. And uh, just behind the, the bunk back, we've got stowage behind here as well. And we've also got stowage underneath the bunk port, uh, uh, sorry, forward and aft. Although the middle section is taken up by the water tank and there's a water tank port and a water tank starboard underneath each cushion really rather good as you can see we've got the nice um the nice deck which is uh, a good thing to have and also we've got the saloon table which at the moment is in its parked position so you'll notice how much room we have on this boat to change move around etc etc especially at sea um so you, you're completely unobtruded by the chart table it's nice and out of the way but if i uh, let's see if i can do this one-handed if i move forward unclip her to the side i can then one-handed drop the table down there we go and the legs come out and you've got yourself a nice size saloon table you notice there we've got a double layer so the bottom layer folds out and we have a nice leaf here too i can't do it one-handed for this video but it is a very very nice sized Char uh, saloon table plenty of room for a four to six to sit and eat or drink and uh, i'm really amazed that more boat manufacturers don't make um use of that kind of arrangement do too because it just makes things nice and flexible but there you go well done moody again so uh, moving forwards we've got uh, entrance into the head now if i just move into there and look to the right hand side uh, the curtains are closed at the moment, so it's uh, a little bit darker than it would be normally in here. We, but we have window port, window starboard. We've got a nice uh, grab handle there, handy if you're standing in front of the toilet. And we've got two cupboard doors there through to what I would call the uh, the wet locker. And then down here we've got the the normal kind of manual head, which we which we all uh, have come to know and love and we all know what it's for too uh, we've got a door there forwards to the um to the forward cabin there which i'll go through and there we go it's made up at the moment but as you can see nice big size cabin enough for two in there for comfort for a weekend or a bit longer we've got um heater units fitted port and starboard down here to keep the condensation down um etc etc and we've got stowage port and starboard in these binnacles which are also really rather handy very good indeed. And uh, the, the, the carpeted thing just um, just at the forward part, that's where the actual well in the foredeck drops down there too. Again, a little bit darker in here because we've got a, a cover over the hatch, but uh, it is a decent cabin. And I speak from experience, you can uh, spend plenty of time in there and not be roughing it whatsoever. So I'm turning to port. So I will just open this curtain slightly. There we go, a bit more light. Um, this is uh, still in the heads compartment. We've got the cupboard to the port side, really lots of room in there. And uh, then we've got the nice, uh, we've got the nice sink unit with the uh, hot and cold tap, and we've also got lots of storage beneath the sink itself as well. So really well thought out. We like and all laid out in a really really useful way. So if I just turn port aft, you'll see that we've got the sofa to port, and again behind the seat rear, we've got lots of storage, and beneath this sofa also we've got the water tank and we've got storage port and storage after in two binnacles what i did forget to mention just if i swing around to starboard is that underneath this uh the starboard berth there we've got the pull out section which you can't really see very well but if i just move it slightly this pulls out and hey presto you've got yourself a nice um, little double bed which is really really useful and another thing that moody do very very well so behind the uh port sofa we've got nice locker there and we've got pretty much a reflection of the other side we've got shelves we've got binnacles we've got little shelf there which is really really well thought out and then coming back to the galley you can see we have uh, quite a small galley it's, it's l-shaped but it's tucked away plenty to hold on to there we've got the nice so we've got the nice handhold here we've got handhold here we've got the fiddles around the edge which is really really useful we've got a nice table there which just extend your work surface if you need it, which is really, really handy. And we've got the cooker, the gimbal. So we've got the uh, two burner stove there, grill and oven. And with nice work surface here, which lifts up and drops down and also gives us access to the two top burners there. So we've got some um, cupboards and drawers to the port side, 
for all your bits and pieces, your knives and forks, etc. A cupboard after, which gives you a bit more stowage. A working refrigerator underneath the kettle there. Great big cool box there with the fridge inside it. And a nice sink unit there too, along with the cupboard underneath, which is some of the room in there is taken up by the refrigeration machinery. But all in all, feels nice down here. Lots and lots of room, lots and lots of space. Lots and lots of little uh, space saving ideas and stowage ideas, as is done by Moody. If you'd like any more information about this boat, just go to boatshedbrighton.com where you'll find lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality. Hope you enjoyed the tour and we hope to see you soon. Take care.